Hi everybody, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm clicking on subscribe below in red and you can click on the little bell so you get videos every Friday. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm Charlotte. I am a medium, so I channel messages in direct. Um, so before I start, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Happy, Happy New Year. I wish you the best for this new year. Lots of love, peace, joy, and really the best year ever. So a Happy New Year to you. Um, okay, so I'm going to center myself and then we're going to see the messages that are coming for today. Okay, so it said to move forward, move forward, go forward, um, let go any old, um, any old weight, past weight, past trauma that you're still holding on to, that are still uh, here, like I see like the ball with a chain at the feet, so let go of that, okay, let go all that weight, uh, all the things that like really slow you down, that are really um, stopping you in your evolution, that are really holding you back, okay, you need to let them go. Uh, you need to move forward, now this is not the time to keep on all fears and all trauma and all things like this that uh, just slowing you down, it's time to really move forward. We're starting the new year, this is a fresh new start, um, you need to go toward that go toward the light, go toward that fresh new start, okay? Uh, if, if you have any of those that you are still holding on to, that you're having a hard time to let go, uh, send it to us, okay? That's what I'm hearing, uh, guys. So they say send it to us to be transmitted into the light. So any fear you have, any doubt, any feeling of being aggressive, uh, just be aware of it, acknowledge it, but do not keep it anymore, do not try to hold on those anymore, okay, the past is done, um, that's why right here, so you just put the intention to be transmuted to the light, you send it back to the universe, you send it back to the light to be transmuted into light and love, um, so you put this intention, so for example, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to feel something that's going to be really stressing me out, like a, all fear, and I'm going to put the intention, and I, I'm just going to put that intention, I'm going to say, um, I don't need this fear anymore, I, I, you know, I understand why it's here, uh, I learned my lesson, I learned what I needed to, now I release it and send it back to the universe to be transmuted in light and love, I do not need this anymore and I resend it to the universe to be transmuted toward the light and love. Um, and then, you know, you say thank you and however you want to do it, this is just an example, you don't have to do exactly like that, but for those who are not sure how to do it, that's how you can do it. Um, now they're telling me to tell you that January is very important as far as energy, so starting today, the 1st, January 1st, starting today for the new year, okay, for all months up to the 21st but up to the end of January. So we're going to say for the whole month of January, your energy, uh, your vibration, your thought, your feelings, what you're going to say, okay, everything that's coming out of you is going to be putting the energy for the rest of the year. So they're telling me to tell you, be very aware of that, be very careful because anything that you are thinking, saying, um, anything that you're vibrating, all the energy you have, the emotion you're feeling, all that is going to give your whole year. So, okay, so it's very important to have a very high vibration for all months of January so you actually have a good year. Um, it's really setting up the energy for your year. So all months of January will be setting up the energy for the rest of the year. Um, so be very careful, make sure you have the best day ever, every day of January, that you have a high energy, a high vibration, 
all that really raise your vibration raise your energy have good feelings toward people have good thinking um good words okay pay attention to the words you're speaking um it's very important because if you feel like crap you're gonna have a crap here basically um so be very aware of that they're really insisting 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 on this uh for me to tell you so i insist be careful with your energy for all January months because it will affect your whole year. Okay, so if you have a really high energy, very happy January months, almost every day, you're going to have an amazing year. Okay, now if you are judging people, criticizing people, uh, having bad feelings, fear, um, all that, you're going to receive that throughout the year. So be very aware of that. Now they're telling me also to tell you that right now it's like we are playing a chess game. Um, so we are playing a chess game from, okay, so there's a light with the white chest uh, things and there's the dark side with the black things. So re be very careful, be very aware of that. This is like a chess game that's going on. It's already has started um, a couple of weeks ago um, now they're saying it's gonna go on for the whole year so you just have to be aware of this um, don't be naive uh, that's why here don't be in the illusion don't uh, yeah don't 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 just be naive if things happen just know that um, we are in that chess game okay it's very important to understand because you have to make your mind still that's why here you have to make your mind still um, because if you have any fear or any doubts it's like a crack into um it's like a crack in you okay and then the dark side the dark energy will just use that to get in it and then it's just gonna break you in half um, so the image is literally a person, you can picture it like a statue and then I see a crack in the head and you have that dark energy coming in them through that crack and then it's like breaking the statue in half. Um, and so that crack is created by doubt. When you feel doubts or fear, uh, it's really, really, really... Um, here to mess you up okay it's really here for the dark energy to come in it, it's that weakness they can use to destroy you and you have to be conscious of that because we're going to be facing more and more of that in the year um so the saying this is not to scare you but this is to be aware of it this is kind of like if you um uh, an athlete and you do basketball and you're going into a game uh the next day and they are telling you that your opponent is going to be uh, seven foot tall and it's gonna be uh, huge and full of muscle and like a total beast well okay it's not to freak you out it's to make you ready so you can be like okay I know who I'm facing I know what's gonna happen now how can I win okay uh, maybe he's he's very tall and strong maybe he's slow maybe he doesn't move as well okay maybe I can I can be faster certain certain moves or whatever but it's to prepare you to a new strategy now if we don't tell you this and you show up to the game and you're facing that huge guy that monster um well what's gonna happen is gonna you're gonna spend the whole game thinking i can't believe i'm facing that huge guy and i'm never gonna win and then the game is gonna be over and you didn't have time to really think about it so this is what's happening right now uh like we said we're in a chess game so you have to be aware of certain things uh so you can prepare yourself to have a better strategy so you can win um you have to see it that way so um, let me see what else yeah so any fear that needs to be transmitted into the light um still your mind do not let doubts or fear interfere into your energy because that's what they will use to destroy you that do not let any weakness um take place or raise up because they will use that against you uh be very aware that the dark forces the dark energy um 
uh, are not going to show up and say, I'm here to destroy you. They're very smart and they will kind of do it with charm. They will try to charm you. They will try to lead you um, toward them with illusion and false promise. Uh, you can even think it's somebody from the, the light or a good person and it's actually somebody working for the dark side. They will use illusions, they lie, etc. Uh, be very, very aware of that um, the image I'm having it's kind of like the snake that is rolling around you and until um, it kills you because you can breathe but what it's doing that what is going around you you don't really realize that it's hurting you until later well that's how it works with the dark side the dark energy that's how they do it is very soft and it's going around you like this um, so be very aware of that so do not fall into those plan uh, into those traps that's why I hear um, be very smart about your decision, about the way you um, take the boat in your life. So it's saying that you are the captain of the boat. Uh, you're the captain of the boat. So <laughs> that's why I hear again. So you have to really navigate your boat the right direction and take it to the right way um, so if you follow the illusion which we like you follow sir the sirens uh, so this apparently will speak to somebody or certain people that are really into the marine's life but yeah if you follow those sirens sound uh, and those illusion they're gonna take you to the total like waterfall where you're gonna fall off down and you know, it's not going to end up well. So they said to be very, very, very careful. Now they're saying that uh, your heart right here is like your, it's like the direction, okay? Um, I forgot the name in English, but it's that thing that's wrong that show north, south, east, west. Um, so they're saying this is in your heart and you have to follow that to follow the right direction, take you to the right direction, okay? If you follow your head and if you're into the illusion of the sirens, it's going to take you to your fall. Um, okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, that's why I got... Let me see. Yeah, so they're saying also um, to be very, very careful uh, when you judge people uh, because um, when you judge people, uh, so there are people that are very, very... I'm listening. Um, so there's people that are very spiritual, that are doing the right thing, that try to be the best version of themselves every day, that are very positive, etc. But they're seeing also people that misbehave, that are um, that are on lower frequency, that are not doing good things. Maybe they see people that are stealing or lying or, or things like that. That's really provoking that strong energy into them. They're very furious, uh, very angry against those people. While they say that um, they see all, um, they know all, they, they, they know how you feel, they see everything and they can hear everything. Okay, so they know. Uh, they telling me to tell you that they know what's going on. Um, now it's not, um, they say it's not your place to judge because the judgment will happen up there. Um, the judgment is not you to make, the judgment is going to happen up there. Um, so that's that. Uh, they also said that when you criticize, uh, you're putting yourself at their level. So be aware of that because when you judge or when you criticize, you putting your vibration a lot lower, you bring it down and you're putting yourself at their level. So just do not let that affect you um, because when you do that, that makes them win basically. Um, so yeah, and they say don't judge because it's not your place to judge. The judgment will happen up here. So they say up here, which is up there. Um, 
it's kind of like the last judgment um, going on so let let it be um, you're not the judge you're not the one that's judging so that will happen anyways uh, so you just you just let it be okay don't let it affect your vibration um, that's what I hear um, Let me see what else. Okay, so they're saying that uh, for the New Year's, there's a lot of people that are doing their list of um, things they want to happen, like their wish list for the New Year, their 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 things uh, for the upcoming year. So is it telling me to tell you that's awesome? Just be careful uh, when you do it, when when you make those wishes, when you make your prayer, etc. Um, to be positive, to be toward what you want. Do not write what you don't want because um, it doesn't take the the no or, or the I don't. It will still arrive to you um, because it's the energy you send out. It's your vibration, etc. So for example. It's like if I say, um, I do not want uh, this uh, stuffy toy, um, well, it's going to bring it to me because I, I just say I do not want, so it reads it like I say I want it. Um, so be aware of that. So for example, for people that want to write, I'm going to give an example. If, if for your wishes for the new year, you were going to be like, um, I don't want to be in doubt or fear no more. Well, instead of writing that, you take the reverse of that um, to writing to the positive way. So, for example, uh, the reverse of doubts is is doubts is the opposite of faith. Okay, it's having faith in something. It's it's believing in something. So instead of saying um, I don't want to be in doubt or fear anymore, you will say um, I want to have faith. I want to develop my faith. I want to be more confident. I want to uh, be more believing in my beliefs, things like that. So you're into the positive. Now, as I'm saying, for people who have a hard time to do this, um, an exercise you can do is that if what's coming to you is more like all the things you don't want, they say just write down um, and then you know you, you make a, a line and on the other side you write all the opposite words so you can look up on the internet um, like for example what you don't want let's say you don't want doubt and you're gonna look up on the internet all the opposite meaning of doubt so let's say you know believing faith all that you're gonna write it on the other side of the paper and then when you make your wishes or your prayer, you're just going to read all that other side of the paper that's all positive and all the negative, you're just going to shred it and throw it in the trash and get rid of it, okay? So just do your wishes for the new year, um, do your prayer, do it with your, the heart. Uh, for some people that just like to write on paper, it said that it counts too. Um, they said that they are receiving all your wishes and it will be uh, responded to, it will be in divine timing. Uh, be patient, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Um, don't be impatient if you don't see it right away. Everything is taken in consideration and be happening back in divine timing. Um, that's why here now, as they say, for people that like to write on paper, do it. Uh, also, certain people like to write on themselves to get more energy into it. They say, yes, that's great. Um, and some people have like, a, a, I see a little box, um, like a jewelry box that's like uh, your grandma jewelry box that's going to speak to one person. But, um, and you want to put that paper in your grandma jewelry box because of the meaning of it. They say it's great to it because uh, all the love around it, the meaning of it is going to create like a magic power and it's going to make it very, very strong. Um, so that's something else they were saying. Uh, let me see.
Yeah, so follow your joy, uh, like they say, raise the vibration for the hormones. What does that mean? Certain people don't know. So they're saying to raise the vibration by following your joy. What makes you happy? Uh, follow that. If you are having a rough day and you transmit it to the light, and you did your meditation, you recenter yourself, okay? You take time to breathe in and really recenter yourself, make calm and peace in your head, and it's still not working, then you just do something that makes you happy, okay? If you love that comedy movie uh, that makes you laugh and raise your vibration, makes you happy, do that. If it's uh, a certain food you love that makes you happy, then go toward that. But anything that will help raise your vibration all this month of January is gonna be a life saver. Uh, that's why I hear a life saver. So really go toward that. What makes you happy, what makes you joy, gives you joy, makes you really um, toward love. All those high vibration is gonna be a life saver. They say it again. So here you go. Um, what else? Yeah, so be very conscious of what's around you, what's happening around you. Uh, like we said, be aware, don't fall into illusion, don't be naive, um, stay very, very, very clear about your goals and where you're going. So they're saying it's kind of like, um, it's a balance, okay? And it's kind of like you have the good angel on one shoulder and the little devil, bad angel on one shoulder. And it's being very careful of who you're gonna listen to, which which ear is listening, okay? Is this the one uh, with a good angel? Is it the one with devil, okay? And you have to be very, very smart, very aware of that because um, it's gonna be a little bit a tricky year and your mind is going to pop things in your head that's going to lead toward one side or another uh, be very careful to that if that thought you're having that feeling you're having is making you feel crappy is not making you feel good then it's not the right direction to go obviously okay go to one what makes you feel light makes you feel happy makes you feel better about yourself um they're saying also you have to be careful um so there's been a ton of work that's been happening a lot of changes in the energy but in your energy as well and a lot of people um are still holding back to all behaviors and all reactions. Uh, that's why here, so, because it's it's what's, what's familiar to them, what they know. And so they're still going back toward those old habits, even though they're not that person anymore, they've grown so much, they, they evolved, they're up here now, okay? And so they're still reacting like if when they were down there, okay? So you gotta let that go because you change, you up here now, you have to have that reaction from up here, okay? You have to, to make that switch um, and, and just be conscious of that, okay? Just, you know, there's some people that are literally bugging, uh, that's what I'm seeing, they're like bugging and they like, they, they grown so much um, and something happened and they're just gonna react like the old ways when they used to get mad and react bad and, and fall into the trap of, of lowering your vibration and then uh, but they've grown so much they're not even there anymore and it, it doesn't match them anymore but they're still doing that old behavior because that's how they used to react so they just keep reacting the same way instead of, of then they like you know, don't feel that bad, but it's just familiar to them, so they're going there. Um, they say, no, you know, you have to realize you have new tools now, you have to use those. Um, you've grown, okay, you don't, you don't use those old tools anymore, you have those brand new tools, so use them. Uh, that's why right here. Um, I hope that makes sense, but yeah, that's what they say. Um, let me see what else. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, so very important. Be very smart about your choices. Go in the right direction. Um, like we said before last week, you have two keys in your hand. One that's going to take you toward a great life and one's going to take you to a more difficult life. Okay, which one you want to choose? Um, go toward the light. Go toward what makes you happy. Raise your vibration for the hormones because it's going to dictate your whole year, the rest of the year. So it's extremely important. Um, they are saying they, there's been a lot of work that's been done. They are so proud of you. Um, some people that meditate all the time and they're wondering if they're going to keep doing it for the new year. They say, yes, keep doing it. It's extremely beneficial and helpful to you and to the energy around you. Please keep doing it. Um, now they're also saying people that have been sending energy to the planet and, and, and to the society, to the environment. Um, I even hear to, uh, okay, people have been sending energy to, to the nature, but to the animals, to the minerals and all those different um, wor little world. Basically, they're saying that it's been extremely beneficial. Uh, they say, thank you so much. They say, um, if you want to keep doing it, please keep doing it. It is extremely helpful. Uh, we see it, we hear it, we know what you're doing and we're so proud of you. We can feel the energy is very, very, very helpful. Uh, for those who haven't thought about doing that and by hearing this message, they having that feeling, oh, I want to do it too. They are saying, yes, go ahead, do it. It's super, super good. Um, <laughs> that's what I hear. So it needs to be a feeling that comes from your heart, from your soul. Okay. Not something you feel forced to, if you feel like you're forcing yourself, don't do it. But if you have that, that, that enthusiasm, that will to do it, then they say, yes, go for it. It's perfect. Um, uh, okay, so they're saying also there's been some people that have been very tired lately. Um, it's normal. It's because of the energies. There's been like a lot of energy changes in your body, in your vibration. There's been like shoot of energy. So if some people are feeling very tired right now, they don't understand why. It's uh, it's normal. Um, just be aware of it. Uh, if you like aromatherapy, you can use that to help you. If you like to use stones do that to help you you can look up um what what's gonna work for you but it can give you that little extra boost uh that little push that you need okay to to get you back on track um now they're saying also some people that can feel uh off sad depressed or um misaligned um, it's because you are kind of losing the connection with your inner being so that means that it doesn't mean that it came out of your body or anything like that because some people are probably are, are going to think that. So, no, it doesn't mean that. It just means that it's being lost in your fear, your past. I hear it's being lost in your past, past thoughts. Um, also could be getting worried about future thoughts and it's just like in, 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 in all the in all the dark waves of the mental is getting lost okay so if you feel uh, off depressed sad you, you have no external reason for it but you don't feel right uh, take a moment to re recenter yourself sit down you breathe breathe in the light okay breathe in in inside of you like this <sighs> Okay, let go all those dark energy out and really recenter your conscious mind. You're going to center it back down to your heart or even to your stomach area if some people, whatever you prefer, it works both. So you recenter it like that and it helps you reconnect it with your soul, with your inner being. Um, because if you're feeling off, what you're feeling is a separation of your two selves basically because it's getting lost in all the the mental area um so do that and that will really help you feel better um this is what i hear um let me see what else
Yeah, so the saying celebrate, this is a time of celebration like we said last week with Christmas. Be in that mood, in that spirit of celebration. Celebrate around you, celebrate for yourself. Um, be joyful, be in the joy of celebration. Um, really go forward, uh, let go all the past and move forward. This is new year, new start, fresh start. Um, do all those wishes for the new year in a positive way. Okay positive words and anything that doesn't serve you anymore it's let go if you can let go transmit it to the light transmit it to the universe um, they will take care of it now some people are okay I, I hear protection some people are asking for protection or need protection they're saying that yes um, ask with your heart to do those um, demands that's what I hear uh, the protection is here um, and will be granted so that will pre speak to a few people maybe just one person but this is just coming in um, okay so they want me to share this uh, for some people I guess don't know also for protection you can um, basically you shine your light from inside of you uh, like a bright star and then you're gonna create a bubble of light all around you that protects you you visualize it like a whole ball um, a ball that's um, all around your body okay like you inside that ball and it's a ball of light and you can even see it like if it's reflective on the outside so you it will reflect any negative energy um, back to the center just put the intention is being uh, sent back to the center transmitted in love and light um, okay so you don't send out bad energy either so that will protect you that need to be shared for certain people apparently um, Yeah, they saying also drink plenty of water to help the cells take vitamins, natural vitamins if you like to. If if people that are feeling tired, that will be helpful. Um, antioxidant, look up antioxidant. Um, try to add this to your diet also. Um, they saying anything that will bring up your energy level up, you need to do it. Uh, really to push yourself for all these months because like they say it's gonna set up the whole year for you the energy for the whole year um, let me see so they want to say they're very very proud of you uh, there's been a lot of work done and they are so proud of you. There's big step that happened. There's people that have made big life changes. Uh, that is very beneficial. Uh, keep going. Keep faith. Uh, trust. Believe in yourself. Okay. Don't let doubt slow you down. Uh, keep moving forward. You're doing great. Keep going. Um, don't look back. Uh, keep moving forward. Um, that's what I hear. Yeah, so share the love with your family. These people that have, I hear, grandparents that are far away that that they miss or haven't talked to them. Um, if you feel like it, just contact them, share your love, um, and and really, really shine your light like this. Um, okay, so I think that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, Hold on, because I, I still hear something. Let me see. Okay, so they say keep moving forward, raise your vibration, be positive all these months. Uh, it will be really like your life saver. Remember this, it's going to reset up the year for you. Go toward the love, go toward what you like, what makes you happy. Celebrate, be in celebration. Um, do your wishes for the new year, okay? Put your prayer, do it with your heart, go toward what's positive, remember that. Um, if you need to go back because there's some message, uh, you can go back, be prepared, okay? Prepare yourself for the best uh, so you can win um, and everything will be fine. Just trust in yourself. That's what I hear.
We are so proud of you and we love you. That's it. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I give you my best wishes. I send you love and light. Uh, please share love and light all around you. Do your best wishes for the year and be at the top of your game for all January because it's going to be a very decisive month. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week, next Friday. And take care, celebrate and have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye.